Welcome, friends, back to Chaoticism. Uh, I know it's been quite a while, but we're back. I'm going to do a knife mostly run here of Resident Evil 8. I know I'm a couple years too late to the game, but it was on sale for less than 20 bucks with all the DLC, so I said, you know what, I'm going to get it. And I played it. And I know what you're thinking, you piece of crap. Why are you playing in a... Ooh, we don't want that. I thought you could skip that. You piece of crap. Why are you playing in third person? Like I said to your uh, the first person mode, for you. the FOV is 81. So it's like super zoomed in. And that just makes me feel extremely nauseous. And I there, couldn't right? stand it. So my second playthrough, I tried the third person camera. And it's just so much better. You can see so much more. I don't feel like I'm getting a headache every time I play the game. So I'm like, you know what? I like it. Don't you worry. And so after that, I wanted to do a knife run. The original knife that you get, you'll see it. It sucks absolute butt. But at the first, at the first Duke encounter, we can get the Karambit, and the Karambit is just fucking OP. Um, it swings so fast, and it swings continuously. I'll show you a demonstration later. Uh, but it's just bonkers. But yeah, I wanted to do knife mostly run. Uh, I'm on that current <laughs> path with a lot of the games. Because it's kind of fun, you know, to use the basic weapon, the crap weapon, the last resort weapon, the box breaking tool. It's fun to use that for the main game. Especially when this game, there's an achievement for it. It's like Resident Evil 4 Remake. It is not possible to 100% complete the game without the knife. Um, some key points to point out are the boss fight with Heisenberg. Obviously, you're in that little mech. It's like a mech battle. Um, but phase two, you can actually knife him. So that part, we're going to have to figure out a tactic for. Um, there's a part with the very end of the game where you're prompted to shoot. So we'll have to do that. But those are all contributed to the achievement. I'm crouching here because it feels faster. Because when you stand up, he does this little weird animation, and I think I think he moves more consistently faster when you crouch. So I'm just gonna do that. There are also some locks and stuff like out of reach things that you have to shoot that don't count for the um, achievement. I was reading a rule online, or someone like broke down the rules of what actually counts as like failures, and. Non-failures are using the handgun to shoot a lock, um, breaking boxes, breaking windows. I think those are okay. Uh, but if you actually harm an enemy with a handgun that's not the prompted times, then you're boned. But we're not going to be doing any of that. If, if it's not required to use the handgun, we ain't going to use it. What's funny is I've actually, this is actually my third time recording this first part. Uh, the first time I did this, so I'm getting pretty good at knowing where to go, and then the lichen attack, oh, I'll talk about when I get there, that fucking thing. But my first run, I didn't have my settings correct in OBS, and so the game looked like dog water. So I was like, I can't use that footage. So I recorded it again. And I changed my settings in OBS, but what it also did was duplicate my microphone. So I had um, <laughs> both my, because I record my audio separate or my microphone separately, and then I just match it up in post. But I had actually recorded my microphone, so I couldn't separate me talking from the game footage, which I want to do for a couple of reasons. Um, but I couldn't do that, so it just, it, yeah, it drove me nuts. I like to cut things out, like if I say something stupid, I'll cut it out. Or if there's a long period of silence, I'll like record over it and shove it in. Or Anyway, there's a whole bunch, slew of stuff I do in post. But So I didn't want my uh, uh, microphone audio to be part of the game audio, especially if I want to use this footage later in like a, like a long form video or like a scripted video. So I also really like how this game was designed around first person, but they added the third person patch and they did a really good job of it. I mean, their animations, like the camera isn't just like pulled back and put up over Ethan's shoulder and then they also gave him a head. 
Uh, it's also they changed animations. They zoom in. Like when you get attacked by an enemy and their weapon goes into you, like the camera angle changes to where the weapon is and that transition you saw earlier going into first person. Yeah, it looks kind of wonky because they didn't where recreate the, the cutscenes with the third person camera. They just kind of go back into first person mode and let it run from there. I still think that it's an incredible third person mod, essentially, modification by the developers. Kind of like how Grand Theft Auto V put first person into their game. I think it's all just really good. Do I even need to go in here? No, I don't need to go in here. I don't need to go in there either. What we'll do is just go get my knife and get through the first two mandatory lichen fights. Those are sons of bitches. And then we gotta get through the lichen ambush or this the little holdout. And that part is a son of a gun. So, but I'll talk about those in a second. First, go in here. Grab our blade. Get some first aid med. Can't survive without it. Start the cutscene. And skip the cutscene. Now we got a gun, which we're not going to use. We are going to hold on to the Lemmy. That'll be our gun for the rest of the game. Oh, that's right, this son of a bitch. Run! Alright, this is my spot. This is my... My battle tower. Come on, attack. So my tactic here is to get him to lunge, and then I sprint away. This is not something you can do in first person, because obviously I can see him off screen. I don't have to look directly at him to see him. Ooh, getting kind of greedy. Getting really greedy. Because if he gets me once, I'm going down into danger. Pretty sure it's damn near over. I want to keep my f as much first aid med as I can for the lichen ambush. The first time I did this fight, man, I restarted like a hundred times. This guy is just... He's so tanky. You think the first enemy... Should not be able to withstand this much damage, but whatever. That was a close one. Oh god, that was another close one. Come on, lunge! Because if I block, I take damage, and I, it's what we're trying to minimize before the Lycan fight, because we want to keep our first aid meds. Oh, thank god. Damageless. Well, mostly damageless. What the hell? Except for that one block at the beginning. Alright. Chem fluid, because the game does not like giving you chem fluid. And we will make another first aid med. Oh, try and hold on to that bad boy. Uh, let's reorganize. Ah, whatever. It's good enough. Yeah, so the first time I fought that Lycan dude, I died like eight fucking times. But then, my second time around, I really figured it out. So it's nice to have those, that little extra uh, knowledge for my first couple attempts. But it sucks to have to do it again. I thought I'd never get through the Lycan ambush the first time, but I did, and then the recording sucked, and I had to do it again. I was not a happy camper. Oh, and we got the second fight coming up. And this is where it can all go. These two healing meds can just go down the drain because this guy's in an even worse spot. So I gotta spawn him. My favorite thing to do is to get him on the staircase. Did he come down yet? I swear to God, he's supposed to be here. Where you at, bud? I have to kill you before I can progress, my guy. There he is. There he is. There he is right there. 
Please go easy on me. I'm a fair maiden. Run! Alright, we're gonna see if we can stall him on the staircase here. It's not an easy strat to do. Oh, see? Like, there, I already lost him. Very dangerous, not blocking right there, but... Oh. There we go. Here we go. This is my tack. Oh, and then he comes up. Fuck. Oh, hey. Oop, not doing that. Not doing that. No, instead of dodging, you should be attacking me. Oh, that's that slice. Just get him back to the staircase. Come here, dude. A single lichen is, as you can see, but multiple lichens just run away. There's no point. Come on, dude. And just, just play along. If I can get through this with the two healing meds, bro, we'd be set. We will be set. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're getting it, we're getting it. Dude, I can't believe that. I managed to get through both of them practically unscathed. That leaves us with two healing meds. We really need that because it is super fucking hard to get through the lichen battle. I always use like all the meds I have to get through it. All right. So the first thing I like to do, come over here and unlock this. By the way, once we get to the entry to the castle, I've never gone beyond there. So that is like our unknown. I don't want to break any more. I probably shouldn't have broken that box. I normally get a first aid med from it. Damn it. You have to be careful with this because if he hits this thing in the right way, it'll actually hurt you. I have to deal as much damage as I can. So I'm not sure what exactly prompts Urias to spawn. There's definitely something that prompts him, but, you know, I'm just going to go down, actually. There's definitely something that prompts him, because he seems to appear sooner when I attack, or, like, when I fight the Lycans than if I don't fight them. So we'll actually be hard-pressed to come back in here, so I'm going to break this box. Handgun bullets, of course, only three. How bad. But then we're just going to kite. We're literally just going to run into that house. I got a little special spot. Okay, he's up here already. Can I go down there safely? Hell no. We'll go this way. Yeah, you guys jump over that while I go this way. And this guy, of course. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going to get hit from behind. I'm going to get hit from behind. Oh, no, I didn't. Thank God. I hate that, how you have to crouch through that thing. It's just so easy to get hit. All right, and we just kind of stand here and hope to God that they all just continue to jump up here. If there's two of them in the hole, like almost guaranteed, there won't be a second one coming out here, but unfortunately, only one followed me. And we're gonna go. Go, go, go. Oh, shoot! Alright, kite them out of that room. Yes, yeah, so you can't enter this again unless this door breaks, which I've only seen happen like a handful of times. And since I'm still good on first aid meds, I won't touch that box. Okay, go up here. Let's see if I can start the thing again. There's Urias, thank God. 
And then I kind of just hang out here. Okay, so I got two guys in the hole. So I just have to kind of hold this until we get grabbed. This is like my special tactic. So, how are you today? Don't even think about it. My little kitchen knife. And if I can get through using only one healing med, that is good because I've never managed that. It's usually a fight to get more. I do have a long form video on the way. Uh, it's going to be my last Stalker video before the second game comes out, or the fourth game. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl comes out. I'm trying to put the Stalker series to bed before that one. I'd really like to do that. That way I can focus all my attention on it. Oh shit, I freaked up. Oh, I managed to block it or dodge that. Alright. Just gotta retry again. No, please. Oh, sweet. We got the cutscene, so that means we're good. And I think, even though we we're put in danger, we didn't heal up. That sucks. I thought last time this happened when I was in danger going into the cutscene, I healed up. So I don't know. I don't know if it'll heal up on its own. Oh, it did. That's so strange that it heals up on its own. I wonder if they... Oh, yeah, he did break through this. I watched him do it. All right, we'll loot this place. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, I just recently watched a Forgotten Weapons video on this shotgun. An old World War One trench gun. And the stud at the end of this, that's a bayonet stud. I don't have a mouse to point to it, but at the end of the barrel, underneath it, there's like that little handle looking thing or what could be like a normal laser sight in like Resident Evil 4 or whatever that's for a bayonet I think that's badass it'd be cool if we could put a bayonet in that shotgun instead of this crappy little kitchen knife alright I did clear out that house now we can break this more handgun bullets ew and this one more handgun bullets ew and I think that's it for now. Let's move on. Go see Granny Hags. What's up, Gran Gran? Rose is here? Get the hidden money. Mark that. Chem fluid. can make more. Oh, I can make two more. There we go. Alright, we should go to the church first. Grab the maiden symbol, or the maiden face. Get that herb. So I've never, only thing I've ever watched on Resident Evil 8 is how the mercenary mode sucks. Because it really pissed me off, like, how bad it was. See, this is one of my original attempts. Just, just save over that. I can't get the gem that's up here. Like I said, I'm not going to shoot it. So if we can't reach it with our knife, that's it. So yeah, I've watched a video on how the mercenaries mode sucks. And then I've also watched a video, or like a, a speed run. I really like watching the speed running scene. But I don't remember, like, anything from the speedrun. So, there's no no hopes for me using speedrunning tactics unless I watch them during this video, which I don't really want to do. 
And I'm just going to run through here and pray to God. I know there's a guy right there. Another guy right there. Just got to get to this door. Let us in. And we're unhurt. And they are despawned. Break that. Handgun bullets. Get the chem fluid from the shitter. No, open, please. One of the bad things about the first person mode is that Ethan sometimes can't pick items up. Like, you won't be in the right position to pick an item up, so you have to get into kind of a weird position, even though it's right there at his feet. Sometimes, like, to pick up a weapon or, like, pick up ammo, you have to get into a certain angle. And that sucks, like, especially when you're fighting a boss or something. Come on, Louisa. Got places to be, things to slash. Oh, can't get around her. Crap. Let me through. Gotta skip the next cutscene. Skipped. He's gonna attack us. We'll just let it happen. Skip. Now we're in here. Gotta grab the one herb. Louise ain't gonna need this cash anymore. Truck key. I don't know why you would keep a screwdriver in a truck key thing, unless, I guess if the key fails, you can use a screwdriver to turn on the ignition or something, I don't know. It's kind of a weird fast. spot to put a screwdriver. <coughs> All right, skip a cutscene to press left mouse button to skip a cutscene. Can you tell I've done this a couple times? I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. Oh, and this ramps where our new wife who's gonna die, unfortunately. Bye, Elena. It's nice knowing you. I don't get it. I like how snappy Ethan's movements are. In Resident Evil 4 Remake, you have to... Like, Leon, sometimes, since his movements are so realistic... Like, they made his movements, like, superhuman, and so it's not janky like this. That if you're going left and you want to go, or you're going left and you want to go right, that Leon has to do an animation. And sometimes that pause in his animation will cause you to get hit. But in this game, this third person, obviously they didn't really care much about the animations because, look at this snappy shit, man. Oh, you out, ooh, oh, gone, ooh, ooh, going this way. Oh, now I'm going left. So easy to dodge. Oh, and there's a couple boxes that I need to get. Yeah, you. Gunpowder. That sucks. Um, there's something over here. Over here. There it is. Bullets. I don't need bullets. I need band-aids. And I'm just looting mostly out of habit. Like I said, this isn't a speed run. I'm not really much of a speed runner. Shank. Alright, save again. We'll get out of here. Open up, door. Alright, put in the maiden face. And the demon face. Chomping on a nice yummy human throat, huh? Nothing but blood and death. Huh? We're actually making really good time. So the first time I went through the lichen ambush, it took me about... I want to say 40 to 45 minutes to get through it the first time because I died like 15 times. I had no idea what I was doing, running around like a chicken with its with its head bitten off. And so it took forever, three times as long as anything else. Um, and then the second time it only took me like 25 minutes because I only died six times. Oh, I like hearing Angie here. Look at me, ugly. He's awake. 
Holy shut the, the fuck up. up. I love that part. It's the only part I care about. Jesus Christ. Just seeing how pretty much all the lords hate each other. Run for your life. Down. Get totally fucking blasted by Urias. Ooh. Dead as a doornail. Yeah, Ethan's ability to take damage is just incredible. And he actually, in this game, instead of like going, oh fuck, or ouch, or ooh, ah, in like Resident Evil 7, here he just kind of accepts it. He just like, he gets hurt and just pushes on, because he knows it's not going to kill him. All he's got to do is douse himself in that yummy fluid, and he's good forever. You know, I could spend all day talking about how, like, the physics and stuff or, like, some of the things that happen in this game are just totally out of whack, like, right there with the handcuffs. Like, these long-ass spikes would just snag the handcuffs and yank him right up into the, the, the shredder. But we could go on all day. Resident Evil runs off the rule of cool. If it looks badass, they're probably keeping it, no matter how physics-defying it is. Thankfully, we're right back where we were. Put the shotgun on our back for the next minute till we get to the to the Duke. Oh, please, yes, I want to switch into the karambit. I don't care about being a knife purist, like, you only using the original knife throughout the whole game. It just sucks so much butt. And I'll show you, I'll give you a demonstration here of the huge difference between the two knives. Shall I choose something? A gift has arrived for you, good sir. So. The large stacks of handgun ammo, and then I'm surprised you get rid of the mine, too. So All right, now buy the karambit. And we'll get this first aid med just for safety, just in case. All right. Good day, then. Well, let's shortcut it to one, where it belongs. All right. Ah, beautiful. All right, now, the karambit is lightning fast. Look at this. It's just, it's lightning fast and it's constant. Whereas the original knife is like you do two slices and he has to wait. Two slices and he has to wait. Two slices and he has to wait. It's horrible. Horrible. Also, I think the karambit does more damage. But look at the top of the screen. You can see the door go through the spikes. And without a sound... It's locked. Crazy. Could Rose be here? And it also looks really cool. Ethan's just in combat ready mode, dude. Ready to slash a throat. Got it. Is there anything in this drawer? I passed by that a hundred times, and I still think there's going to be something in it. All right, let's get to the first save point. Now, this is the exact point where all of my runs stopped because it took me like an hour to get to just this point. Uh, but I think we'll keep on going. But first, I need to get water. All right, let's see how the rest of this castle goes. I honestly have no idea what to expect with the knife only. Oh, well, I do know what to expect at this point right here. We're gonna get kidnapped. We'll skip it. We get dragged on. Watch Ethan rip through his fucking hands. Oh, what a man. Oh, my God. I'm surprised this one didn't already fall out. He's got, like, no hand left on that side. Oh, 
crazy butchers. Yeah, that's probably the reaction I would have too. And thank God they left this convenient first aid fluid here. Alright. Okay, a little drunk. Um, that's everything in the bedchamber. Locked. I'm just looking around for stuff. I know where to go. Trust me. I recently watched Bakba Soup do a knife-only run of Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse difficulty. Talk about freaking crazy. I don't think I would ever do that. Like knife-only Resident Evil 7. I didn't really like it that much. I kind of like these the medium-paced Resident Evils. My intro... My entry into the series was Resident Evil 4 original. So that's kind of how I like my Resident Evils. Resident Evil 7 was just a bit too slow. It's like no enemy types. There's only like fucking four enemies. Five enemies at most throughout the game. Or like different types, I should say. Where have they taken Resident Evil 5 was fun. Only because of the co-op aspect. Resident Evil 6 was over-engineered. I think their com if they ever remake Resident Evil 6, which I don't know if they would, uh, they gotta tone down that combat system because be I mean, being able to run, jump, crawl, roll, dive, freaking fly over things was it's it's bonkers. But it's like just way too over-engineered. There's just way too many controls. It's easy to get turned around. Shit's just nuts. I think they should kind of tone it down. Honestly, I think Resident Evil 4 Remake's whole system is really good. They just recreated every Resident Evil like Resident Evil 4 Remake. I think that'd be good. They just give it that treatment. Keep it kind of close to how Resident Evil 4 Remake's controls and just whole system is. I think that'd be good. I find it funny how every time you press, like we're going straight, you press any directional button, Ethan like freaking jolts in that direction. It's hilarious. Oh, that's locked. Okay, I think I gotta go back this way. Put the maroon eye into the girl's eyeball or eye socket. Put the maroon eye. Oh, nope. Gotta look at it. First and foremost, you gotta look at it. Ugh. That's rough. Freaking bugs crawling out of your skin. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Taking a live, dead, which would you prefer? Prefer to get away from you. You're kind of crazy. Crazy hot, but still crazy. Last thing I would want is dying. The thousand bugs crawling through my system. Ugh. No thanks, bro. I'm curious how she didn't hear us falling down that shaft earlier. Pretty sure that echo like a motherfucker. Are these little chickens? <gasps> they are. I didn't realize that. That's kind of a gross detail. Money can't live without money. I think 
one of these puzzles to get like a good treasure requires the handgun because you can't push that thing up enough but all the rest of them you can just push oh and there's also that bell puzzle yeah you can't complete that bell puzzle without a gun And this part right here where our first enemy comes out, this is where the Karambit's really going to shine. And we'll see how much easier it is. I mean, these enemies are weaker than the Lycans by a lot. But just the sheer insanity that we're going to bring upon these poor guys, it's kind of pitiful to watch, honestly. Uh, I don't know where every item in the game is yet. I also have my sound turned down really low. Just so it doesn't bleed into my microphone. So, until that guy's right on my ass, I most likely won't hear him. And I don't expect us having to use... Oh! Normally I try to get around him. But it didn't work out that way. We are in a tight spot. Oh, see, I just sent him to hell. Yeah, see, look at that shit. Gone. Sweet. That was easy. Oh, hey, dude. Oh no! Well, I said I was hoping we weren't going to use first aids, but we did. He snuck up on me, that doesn't count. You can also stun lock him if you get the right spot. I've done it with the normal knife on uh, my first playthrough. It's kind of what gave me the idea. If you just like stab him in the leg, they'll like keep like dropping down to their knee or something. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. Pick up all the items here. Did I get them all? Ah, I don't really care. Whoa! He came out of nowhere. Oh, is there something in this? Is that why I don't... Yeah, there's something in here. Oh, What's-Her-Nuts is going to spawn at this point. Yeah, you have to use an explosive to break open that to get the treasure that's in there. And then you also, it's like really high and really far. Oh crap. All this mess. Gotta get her to come towards me. Oh shit. Wrong way. She's gonna hurt me now. Please, I don't want to be hurt. Oh, <laughs> hey baby. Just let me through. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, good, she's over there. Now we can run. Now we can get out of here. She's fast, though, so she might get up behind me. Okay. I don't have a tactic for this boss fight. Your bullets cannot harm they can now. And so can my blade. You stupid man thing! You can just call me a badass. Move your hands! Jeez, girl, just do the fucking whammy combo like I'm gonna do on you. Impertinent man! How dare you bear your teeth at us! Give up! Ooh. 
Oh! That was... For sure that was the death combo. And she's down. Did I have to heal twice in that fight? I think I only need to heal once. Oh, I'm going to go get the supplies. Just a little extra money. I think there's one box down here we can grab. Yeah, you. Ew. Hanging ammo. For money that I don't need anymore. All I need it to do is to buy me more healing items. That's about it. Get the virgin blood. Open up. Oh, I didn't get the lockpick yet. Whoops, that's right there. Silly me. And we continue on. Let's go drop our stuff off with the Duke. Why is this door open? You wish to make a purchase? Man, it's a lot of hanging ammo. Holy crap. As always, a trustworthy fair exchange. Any first aid meds? No, nope, I bought you out. All right, let's save there. All right, how far are we? 39 minutes. Wow, it's not bad. I think we'll go to like an hour. So the next thing we need to do is go to Lady Dimitrescu's chambers. See if the baby's there. Oh, wait, I gotta drop this off in the wine room first. And here we are. Where's the mechanism to eject that? Now that's like permanently in there. And how can it differentiate the blood of a virgin from, like, Shall I give you the two normal blood? Oh, bitch. <laughs> I think she's going to hit me from behind. There she is. Just get through here. You can't come in here. Did she disappear? Since with the save room, might as well save. There's an herb somewhere in this courtyard. There it is. Always the last one you check. Can't get through that yet. So I think we go this way. Yep, I was right.
I'm gonna be completely honest here. I think Lady Dimitrescu's senses are going away. The fact that she hasn't seen or heard us like five times by this point, I think that's on her. All I did was kill her, not defile her. Calm down, Lady Dimitrescu. I think we face the ladies together. And the horse stays facing this way. Yep. I'm fucking genius. <laughs> That's another jank animation with the third person. Leon's dropping animation. It's like one single frame. It's like a like a falling T pose. <laughs> Where'd he go? Just fell into the Shadow Realm. I think we're gonna get surrounded. There's supposed to be a guy coming up from behind us or not? There are three of them. Oh shit, he grabbed me. Ooh! That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be doing better than this. See you there. Yeah, I see you. He died quick. This is on hardcore. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. I am playing on hardcore. Oof. That was a sneaky. That was a quick and sneaky slash you got. Oh, and he came with the backhand. Turning radius isn't as tight as mine, bro. Got the turning radius of a semi truck. And even if there are leftover items, I don't really care. Oh, you sneaky bugger. is covered in blood. Holy shit. Dang. Alright, we are at 45 minutes. Alright, not bad. Not bad. We'll skip this. It's just Lady Dimitres getting all angry. Take that. All 
All right, Freddy's, you ready? Oh no! It's the Dommy Mommy. All this for a child who isn't even here. What the hell do you? You ungrateful, selfish wretch! You come into my house. You lay your filthy man hands on my. Daughters, and now you even try to steal my property. How dare you? Rest Casually you uses can. us to punch a hole in the floor. Because I will punch you, and I will break you. Go ahead, do your worst. Ethan's a stud in this game. He's just like, bring it on. I think there's something in here. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. A thousand light. Oh, and some chem fluid. I need that. All right. Time to lose a hand. Oh shit! That's a lot of blood. You'll be sliced to ribbons. But first, let me throw you across the room. Well, sorry, lady, but until you learn how to run... You will learn what it means to insult a dummy task. Oh, shit! <laughs> I got stuck on the wall. <laughs> Get our hand still clinging to the damn lever. Okay, open up. Oh god, it didn't open up fast enough. Yeah, I noticed you can get angry. You can get pretty flaming mad. Well, so far it's gotten me away from you. Oh, yeah. Just slip that right back on. I find it funny how his clothing didn't fall off his wrist. I think that's the most impressive part. Not the fact that he can just slap his hand back onto his arm and it works again. Screw this castle. But the fact that is <laughs> that it didn't fall off and that it's reattached and it still stays on. I think that's hilarious. I guess it's better than trying to get a new texture for his arm. Oh no, these little bastards are out here. Oh yeah, we're too quick for you, man. As long as I just lay on the pressure. You can't do nothing. So now that we have the Dimitres key... Dimitrescu key will get us into... Oh yes, this door on the left.
Oh! Sorry, I forgot about you. I remembered your friend who's across the hall there, but... Didn't remember you. At least you didn't get the grab and the bite. Alright, this puzzle. Find middle C. Oh, we started on middle C. Go up an octave. There it is. E, G, B, A, A, D, C, D, E, E. Oh, yeah, totally. What an inconvenient way to get a key. Hey man, did you take your piano lessons? Can't get the key without it. Oh, and I think it's the second... Oh, Jesus! Forgot about her. Just spawning up there. Oh hell. I'm backing myself into a corner like a dingus. Oh, she missed! <laughs> Sorry, lady. Too fast for you. Grow any bigger, maybe those claws will reach across the courtyard. <laughs> so you finally just feel my wrath. So mean. So mean. I'm not the one drinking blood here. I'm just the one spilling it. Did I kill her in one cycle? Ha <laughs> ha shit. Take that, girl. I'm sick of bugs. Give me your torso. Yeah, that sister's kind of easy because she just, like, once you open up the thing, she for the most part runs and hides. Like, you'll, if you do your casual playthrough, you'll notice she, like, comes back here and hides behind these bookshelves and shit. Push over. Not like her sister, though. I think it goes Bella, Cassandra, then Daniela. Alright, I don't care what else is here. I'm not going to pretend like I remember which sister is which, nor do I care. They all look the same to me. There's one. Now this is the first time we have to use the gun. Unfortunately. go. That's done. Oh, how much healing do I have? I have none. We can make five healing. Holy Jesus.
treasure I don't care to get. I did grab it, right? Yeah, I grabbed it. Now, I don't think I'll be able to deal with these flying guys too well. Guess we'll just we'll just YOLO it. We'll just go get the mask and that'll be it. Ain't no reason to play with these boys. I thought one was gonna spawn. I thought it was being cool. Just gotta go, just gotta go. Just gotta go. Don't worry about anything else. Oh crap. I can't see them. Oh crap, he's on my ass. Oh man. I can hear him. I can see him. Nothing? That should be illegal. This is a Resident Evil game. Smart of him to hold on to that. Oh god. It only takes a, like a handful of slashes to kill him. He drops an item on that balcony. I think I can still get it. Yep. <laughs> How many of them are left? Technically three. Oh, two. Yep, he's coming for me. This Karambit's the best way to deal with these guys, man. Because you can't hit them. You can't shoot them. Because they're so freaking wild. Alright, we got to get him. Yeah, take that. Ain't no chance. No chance against my knife. There's a whole bunch of stuff around there that we don't really need. Even if there's chem fluid, dude, we got five of them. Or like five full heals, so. Oh, money. I haven't played through the game on Village of Shadows yet. I'm kind of saving that. I do want to do like a new game, Village of Shadows. Not new game plus, but new game. But I hear that's like really, really fucking hard. You won't live long. How are you getting, how are you learning that I've killed your sister or your daughters? Don't, don't do anything rash. What up, Duke? I've expanded my services, please. Come take a look. Let's get this just because. Perhaps he hasn't laid eyes on. And hole in one. Yep, give me that money. Money, money, money. Welcome. Crystal skull, crystal wing, crystal torso, crimson skull. Keep the lockpick. We'll sell the fat stacks of handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, and the rifle. Oh, I did sell the uh, pipe bomb. Should keep the next one. And there's nothing I need to buy. 
You know what? Good day then. Talk to me. Something in particular. We will buy the mine let me know if you'd like to strengthen good day. blueprint just in case. I don't expect yeah. needing it, but if we end up at a point where we're up shit creek without a paddle. Alright, we are at an hour and one minute. Almost exactly where I wanted to stop. So, I really appreciate you guys coming back to watch me. I know the upload schedule is really crazy. I am working on a scripted video. Uh, and I'm just kind of using this as a buffer. The editing part's the hard part for me. Because it's like, it requires so much brain power to be creative. And I'm not that creative. So, <laughs> work on it as best I can. But I appreciate y'all. See you in part two. And goodbye.